Now we're going to take a look at design options in the context of a Revit MEP model. If the architects use design options, like this example, there's an alternate to add two extra lanes to a pool. That means the base bid is one design and the alternate is another design, which in this case affected the overall size of the building. So that affected structure and MEP. The first thing we're going to do is create a design option within our MEP model. In the Design Options dialog box, we create an option set, which automatically has an option, which is the primary option, which is what shows up everywhere by default. And then we can create multiple secondary options. In this case, we just create one secondary option. So we have two options in one design option set. We can rename all of these components to make them more understandable to everybody on the project. And if the architects have these same design options, you'd want to just name them the same because they're going to have to do some of these steps themselves that we're about to work through. So for this view, we'll want to make sure the phase is set correctly. So we're in phase two, our new construction proposed phase. Phase filter is set to show complete. So we can see things significantly change on the screen. That's phasing. Design options are similar. They're different designs within the same time, whereas phasing is different designs across different times. So we're going to rename the view. We duplicated the level one mechanical view and we renamed it to have alternate one or alternate A, whatever the alternate is in the view name. And then in visibility graphics, we're going to go to the Revit link and edit the architectural link. And because the architectural model has design options, there's a design options tab. And we'll want to set the bid alternate for as the alternate for this view. So essentially we're hardwiring this view to look at something other than the primary view. In our own settings, we now also have a design option tab. And we'll also set our design option to alternate. So now our view has our design option set to alternate. And then the linked architectural model is also set to alternate. So the geometry for the alternate is controlled by our model and the linked architectural model. Both of those things have to be set to show the alternate geometry, which makes sense. We have a, our own model and then the architects have their model and we want the same alternate to show up. So in this case, we see that the base bid is one large room and the alternate has a wall with a door separating that large room into two smaller rooms. This is just one example of how design options can be used. 